Channel 4 is drawing controversy for encouraging parents to train their baby like they train a dog. An online petition against airing the programmes hit almost 25,000 signatures. Here's part of the trailer. I'm putting my neck on the line, but I believe in the concept. I believe that this will work. It is almost like giving a dog a treat. Using dog training techniques. Good boy. Yes. You have to say it a little less like he is a dog. On kids. Whether or not I'm working with a dog or a child, they all want to be good boys. Are you ready? Sit! But can you really train your baby like a dog? Well, the show features the expert dog trainer Jo Rosie Haffenden as she meets two families and tries to help them using a range of techniques, including clicker training, where you use a clicking sound to signify good behaviour. Jo Rosie Haffenden spoke to Nahal's show earlier about the complaints received about the show. The vast majority of complaints have come from um, the, the autistic community who rightly have... Um, a lot of real strong opinions when it comes to the clicker and when it comes to applied behaviour analysis, which is a technique that sadly is used on a lot of autistic children in a, in a horrific, brutal manner. Still these days, people are restraining children and trying to stop them behaving in a way that is actually natural and good for them and you know trying to trying to really manipulate their behavior in a way that's quite horrifying under the umbrella of of clicker training and of ava and so i think as soon as they saw me with a clicker it was a real trigger of their fear and so they they rightly became really defensive and frightened and so issued you know the petition and all this stuff saying you know we can't possibly have this trainer going on TV and, and and suggesting that these techniques are still used because look at the look at the stress and struggles that it's caused for our community. Now, hopefully when they see the show, they'll see that I actually don't use any of those techniques at all. Um, it was just an assumption based on a tool because I've got a clicker there. So people were thinking that it was a case of, you know, just completely clinically marking good behavior and saying right you've said you've said please and so i'm going to click you and give you a chocolate button and you know you haven't said please so i'm going to ignore you and that's so far away from the way that we modern day trainers train dogs these days you know it's so much more about relationship and attachment and building engagement and teaching a dialogue um, all the things that we should be doing with children particularly pre-verbal children who, who can't yet ask for things that they need uh, well, listening to that is Emma Dalmain, CEO of Autistic Inclusive Meets, who set up uh, the petition on change.org. Emma, hello. Hello. Do you accept what Joe Rosie was saying there? No. Okay. What, 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 what particular aspect do you dispute? She says she doesn't use it using the same method that was used with autistic children. She is using it in the same method. It's to manipulate um, a child's behaviour in order to have it in a way that's acceptable to the person with a clicker. So anything negative will be ignored until the child complies with what she wants them to do or what the parent wants them to do, whoever's got the clicker. So the clicker is the reward? Uh, yeah, the clicker is a so-called marker for good behaviour. Right. So if a child is having a meltdown, you know, a non or a tantrum if it's a neurotypical child and they can't control their behaviour, and then they stop and they do the task that they've been asked to do, click. Well done. And so, now, ju just ex is, explain, yeah, Emma, explain the link then bet between this and the treatment of children with autism. What, what, what's your concern? Our concern is that this is the same thing. This is Tag Teach. All right, Tag Teach has been inflicted on the autistic community for, for years, for about 15 years now. And um, it's all about control. It's all about gain. It's all about ignoring so-called bad behaviour and rewarding what is deemed by the trainer as good behaviour. Right. So the, the thing is, all, beha all behaviour is a communication, all right? The child is trying to communicate something to you or to whoever, and if you ignore it, and right, I'm not going to listen to this, we're not going to entertain this, oh, you're being good now, you're complying, you're being quiet, right, now you can have a click, here's a smarty, well done. Right, and what, what effect did it have then on autistic children as, the, as they developed? Because that's the real concern here, isn't it? Uh, Post-traumatic stress disorder, I interact with the autistic community daily, I'm autistic myself, and I run a few autistic support groups, we have our own organisation where we run meetups, and so I interact with autistic adults, teens and kids, and the amount of them that have come out of this sort of training with post-traumatic stress disorder. So you know, it's, it's, it's 
terrifying. I mean, if you're going to teach a child that to gain approval from an adult, they have to comply with what the adult wants, and then they'll get a treat, that's setting them up for grooming, no? Channel 4 aren't going to pull the programme. They say, and this is their explanation, Emma, they say the programme explores a new approach to childcare grounded in positive science-based motivational techniques that are used widely by parenting coaches and animal behaviour experts throughout filming and broadcast. The welfare of all contributors in the programme is of paramount importance and the process is supervised by qualified child psychologists. In the light of the fact they aren't going to pull it, what do you say to Channel 4? I was telling that tag teach clicker training is not approved by the NIC guidelines. I would also say that the way that they've allowed um, Jo Rosie to conduct herself, the fact that she said that we wouldn't be able to make an informed decision, basically, because we have been exposed to clicker training, is infantilization. It's very condescending. You know, autistic people are fully informed. We can make on bias on balanced views against us. The reason we can is because we've been exposed to it ourselves. Emma, we have to leave that there. I guess many people will watch the programme tonight and try and make up their own minds, but thank you. Emma Dalmain there, CEO of Autistic Inclusive Meets, reacting to that programme tonight on Channel 4. Train your baby like a dog.